which are very popular, very famous. Like they're shot like thousands and thousands of times, but even with 100 millimeters, it's too tight. So could have missed the chance. Airplane coming, so I'm gonna cover my microphone like that. And I just find it such a dick move. I guess today is just not the day. There is a car crash, like a big one. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in the city called Cheongju, which is located in the heartland of Korea. And we are currently going to this place called Jeongbukdong Tosong, which is a fortress made with dirt. Now this fortress, if I'm correct, was built like a thousand years ago and it's still there, like the structure is still there and people planted some trees there and these trees are really famous uh, and popular photo spots for, uh, for Korean photographers. So that's where we're gonna, that's what we're gonna shoot today and this road is really sketchy. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna stay here until the evening uh, because the air quality seems fine but the weather conditions eh, there are no clouds no i don't think there will be any interesting light today but still we're gonna we're gonna see yeah All right, so we have arrived and oh, it's really sunny today. It's kind of hot. It's still April, early April. Today's uh, April 9th and it's still like 20 degrees. So these trees were the ones that I was talking about in the car that I'm gonna shoot today, which are very popular, very famous. Like they're shot like thousands and thousands of times by Korean photographers, but still, you guys don't know this tree, so <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, Korean photographers, us, we recognize it like from miles away, but like you guys, the viewers, uh, you guys are mostly from the US and Germany and the UK. So you guys don't know this place. So I just wanted to share. It's a good place to uh, visit for landscape photography when you come to Korea. So anyways, let's get going and uh, make some photos. Now, before we continue, I'd like to show you some of my photos that I made in the location in 2021. Enjoy! Okay, so I've got the first composition and I just uh, set up my tripod and my 100 to 400 millimeter lens, but even with 100 millimeter uh, focal length, it still looks too tight. So I think I'm gonna change it to 24 to 105. Okay, so I've got my first composition here and I just tried that out with my 100 to 400 millimeter lens, but even with 100 millimeters, it's too, tight um i could just go back a little and you know my use my feet as zoom but <laughs> i'm i'm a lazy one yeah well anyways uh so i got my 24 to 105 here and now it looks perfect it's i'm currently at about like 65 millimeters and i'm thinking oh it's it's definitely a vertical image but 
I might go for square crop. I'm not sure. So this image is very simple. Uh, there's this tree in the middle of the image and under it there are stairs, uh, stairways. And if you look at the right side of the tree, there's a small pole sticking out and I'm gonna Photoshop it out later because that's just annoying. So ISO 100, F11, 500th of a second and two second timer. And there's my shot. When I first found the composition, I didn't consider creating a black and white photo. However, upon viewing the image in Lightroom, it became apparent that black and white suited it better. The wooden stairs were glowing under the direct sunlight, becoming very prominent and nearly as bright as the sky, which balanced the image. Although the sky lacked clouds and was rather plain, this aspect actually enhanced the photo. All right, so yeah, I turned on the camera to tell you guys that we're going home. Um, apparently the Air Force chose today to have this massive drills and there are a lot of uh, fighter jets flying around. Um, and as time's passing by, there are more and more planes flying around which are making these thundering sounds with the jet engines. So I can't make videos under this kind of condition. But the video doesn't end here. Uh, we're gonna go back to my town and shoot some cherry blossoms there and maybe some other landscape photography uh, photos. So yeah, we're going home and uh, we'll see what we'll find around our town. All right, hello again. As we were going back home, uh, we found a swallow's nest. So could have missed the chance. Um, so we're gonna shoot some swallows here and then go back home. And also there are cherry blossoms here, so I guess we're gonna make some cherry blossom photos here as well. All right, first cherry blossoms and then the swallows. All right, so I'm not gonna walk you through my compositions because there's a lot of <laughs> flowers around and I can basically like shoot everything. So, however, uh, I will show you the photos um, and you can see me making photos of these beautiful cherry blossoms and wow they're amazing uh, okay and right now they're these flowers are backlit so they're really good to shoot <sighs> amazing amazing especially the ones here backlit Now let's make some swallow photos. All right, there's a swallow right in front of me, like two, three meters. It's not even flying away. So I can make an easy, easy shot of these, this beautiful bird. Ah, oh, so cute, so adorable. Now, one thing I really hate when I'm making bird photos is those people who fly these birds on purpose. And there's an airplane coming, so I'm going to cover my microphone like that to protect your ears. And they fly the birds like intentionally to make to make photos of them flying. And I just find it such a dick move. Like, why can't people just respect nature and leave them as they are? At first, I considered shooting the cherry blossoms like everyone else does. But I quickly changed my mind and opted for macro shots with my long lens. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure about this image, but I always enjoy taking macro photos. The swallow remained perched without flying away, giving me plenty of time to compose my shots and capture this photo. 
It's always a delight to see them, and they are one of my favorite spring birds. All right, so we just finished making uh, photos of the swallows and the cherry blossoms, and now we're gonna go back home. I hope you enjoy the images. Um, now, it was a really amazing experience to see this beautiful bird so close. And it's because uh, we Koreans, we don't really, uh, we don't really like threaten them uh, because they're not pests, uh, unlike rats with wings. Uh, no, we love these birds. Uh, and even, even our like fairy tales, we have them as a symbol of good karma. So we love swallows and they know that us humans will not hurt them. So swallows often would come to your uh, personal markets or buildings and then make their nests. So anyways, uh, hope you guys liked it and we're gonna go back home now. Now we're really going back home. It'll take like an hour and a half and then, oh, there's another plane, Jesus. Yeah. Now we're really going home and well, see you there before another plane comes and interrupts me. So we're going home, but I guess today is just not the day. There is a car crash, like a big one. And I, I couldn't film it, but there were like police cars everywhere and the wreckers. Man, it looked bad. It looked really bad. We're currently at the service area now, but it took like, took us like one hour um and we drove like what two kilometers <laughs> so shit so we're not going home that fast which means the video probably will end here um i'm very sorry for this chaotic video but honestly guys this is my life um i i didn't want to fake it but hey at least i made i did make some photos so i i, I hope you enjoyed it um so anyways yeah I'm very sorry, I apologize sincerely. Next week's video will be much better, I hope. Um, man, it looks like, it looks bad, like this accident. <sighs> Cars are not moving at all, so I'm sorry. Anyways, um, thanks for watching and please subscribe. If you like this video, press the like button. If you didn't like this video, press the dislike button, but twice. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.